step up under subjection, I found it to be all so good. Yeah. So y'all y'all say about the great leadership. I come to contest that you are under great leadership because I've followed for 21 years. Looking on the other side for 21 years and said, is there anybody still carrying the bloodstained bag? Is anybody, is, is there still somebody standing on that solid foundation in which I find to be true Christ Jesus? So I want to thank you, I want to thank you, First Lady, for being my friend. And God's going to bless and shower down upon this house. Let me tell you, I always say, no, I say, no, prayer go where I can't go. Uh -huh. So if I'm on this side pray for you, you on this side pray for me, something got to shake. Something got to move. He can assure me the prayers of the righteous. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Prepare yourself, amen. I will say a friend who loveth in all time. Because this camera has never changed. Since she, amen, first brought me that water when I was a little runabout evangelist. She has always been the same. And I thank God for her. Because she might see some ladies see. I thank, amen, this church, amen, that her came to name divine, amen. That's the praise her. And I'm so glad Mr. Seath has allowed a portion of his congregation to come. Amen. And allow us to use one of his ministers to help us in this revival. And this young lady, I, I think I can call her young because I'm probably older than everybody in here. Amen. But this young evangelist, amen. I know her to be a hard worker. Amen. And I know she's inspirational in many ways under Bishop Michael Cephas because I talked to him about her. One thing he said that she don't give him any trouble. That's right. Yes. I wish I yes. remember. Yes. He said she don't give yes. him any trouble. Yes. Amen. 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 You know, that's all right with me when I hear a pastor say, ain't nobody giving him no trouble. Being a pastor, you get a lot of trouble. <laughs> but we love you still. Amen. We get ready to introduce the song, present to others. This great woman of God. Amen. Let us stand to our feet. Amen. The last name is very prominent in our church. She ain't kin to the Washingtons, is she? You have one? She said, it's a whole lot of them. I know it's a whole lot of Washingtons on our side, too. Amen. But, amen. We know that God has sent her. Amen. And we know that she has a word for us this morning. We ask you to send your right hand towards her at this time as I introduce her to you this morning. Amen. Evangelist Danella Washington. Amen. We will sit tentatively and hear what the Spirit of God has for us on this day. Let's receive her by saying, preach the word. Evangelist Washington. Congregation of Evangelist Washington. Let's receive her with a hand clap. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Have God been good to you today? Have God been good to you today? And if He's good to you, then go and bless Him. Go and lift Him up. Go and praise Him. Go and talk to Lord today. Oh, glory to God. Oh, la la la. Just go and give Him praise. Oh, God. I heard Him say, when I think of the goodness of Him.
of this house. Hallelujah. First Lady, amen. So real give honor to you. Hallelujah. Give honor, amen, to our deacons, our, our, our ministers, evangelists, deacons. Yeah. Hallelujah. The deaconess, saints, and friends. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh, listen here. I, God, Shama. I, I, I have the gift of the Holy Ghost. And, and, and one thing I know about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost don't sit quiet when God is visiting the house. Is it anybody here that the Holy Ghost today? Go. Follow me to the book of Mark. 
chapter number five, verse number twenty-one. Very, very familiar passage of scripture. Hallelujah, glory to God. I'm going to read it down from twenty-one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then read on his promise. And then when Jesus passed over again by the ship and took the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. Behold, there came, cometh a ruler of the synagogue, Jarvis by the name, and he saw him and fell at his feet. And he saw him greatly saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray that you come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed and that she may live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, somebody say a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had me and sent spent all that she had and nothing uh, got better but it got worse hallelujah we are very familiar with this uh, um, story about amen this one of the issue of blood hallelujah glory to god and uh, we know her story but the one thing i liked about this story is that this woman grabbed god attention she grabbed Jesus' attention because Jesus was on his way to Jordan's house to heal his daughter. Hallelujah, glory to God. But uh, you may be seated if you can. The Bible says that uh, Jesus was passing over to the other side uh, where much people gathered. Uh, they gathered, they gathered, and then behold, behold, there came a certain ruler out of the synagogues uh, named Jobs. Uh -huh. And the word of the Lord said to him, uh, the word of the Lord said that he fell at his feet. And Jarvis besought him greatly, saying, My daughter lieth at the point of death. Uh, tell somebody, tell somebody, all sickness is not unto death. Uh, can we just uh, all sickness is not unto death? Uh, I know the doctors gave you a, 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 a bad report, uh, but whose report shall you believe? Uh, all sickness is not unto death. Uh, the Bible declared that he prayed and he said, to Come lay your hand. Uh, on her that she may be healed and that she may live. Uh, around the 25th verse of the Bible declares that uh, it was a certain woman with this issue of blood. Uh, 12 years. Can somebody just say 12 years? Uh, because I want you to understand that number 12 is uh, uh, God it is considered to be a perfect number. Uh, it symbolizes the power of God. It symbolizes the authority and the miraculous miracles, uh, uh, the signs and the wonders uh, uh, that he will perform. Uh, that number 12 was used 187 times throughout uh, uh, the word of the Lord. Uh, the Bible says, the Bible says that uh, this woman with the issue of blood, she suffered many things. Uh, uh, she went to all these physicians. Uh, uh, glory to God, spending all that she had, but nothing got better, but it only got worse. Uh, can you put your yourself in this woman's shoes. Uh, can you walk in this woman's shoes? Uh, glory to God. Can you imagine the pain that this woman uh, had to deal with for 12 years? Uh, can you imagine the things uh, uh, people talking about her, running her down and ostracizing her in Tabasa, uh, even uh, uh, isolating her themselves from her because uh, uh, this woman was bleeding hot uh, for 12 long years. They probably even said that she stepped uh, her glory to God. Uh, uh, but I also felt the de desperation of this woman. Uh, uh, God, I felt the desperation. I felt the desperation uh, uh, of this certain woman with this issue of blood. Uh, uh, the Bible says that, uh, uh, that she heard, she heard, she heard, uh, she heard this man by the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, is anybody here uh, know Jesus? Uh, uh, she heard this man by the name of Jesus uh, was coming through the press. Uh, and one thing I understood about this one, uh, see, desperation in desperate times calls for desperate measures. Uh, uh, this one didn't care who was looking at her. Uh, and she didn't even care who was talking about her. Uh, uh, she had to get to Jesus. Uh, uh, I'm it about her. Uh, I felt it. I felt it. Uh, and even, 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 uh, uh, this woman may have seen extreme uh, because she was under a normal circumstance. Uh, uh, this woman, this woman, this woman. Uh, uh, just look at your neighbor.
neighbor look at your neighbor, huh? And say, if I could just touch him, huh? Uh, if I could touch the him, huh? The him of him, huh? See, the one thing about this woman, huh? She didn't have to touch Jesus, huh? In the physical way, huh? But she said, if I just touch the him, huh? The him of this place, huh?
Hallelujah. In your body, you need sickness. In your body, I'm there to pray. Hallelujah. That God will heal you. Hallelujah. By your faith, shall you be made whole. Hallelujah. See, I, I, I believe the Lord. I believe the Lord. And, and, and sometimes it ain't always.